Gramsci is best known for his theory of cultural hegemony. This describes how states use cultural institutions to maintain power in capitalist societies. The term hegemony was coined by Gramsci to denote the predominance of one social class over others. This refers to political and economic control, but also the hegemonic culture. The bourgeoisie propagated their own values and norms so that they became the common sense values of everyone in the state, particularly those subordinated by it. People in the working class identify their own good with the good of the bourgeoisie and help it to maintain the status quo rather than revolting. There is a clear relationship between persuasion, consent and occasional brute force involved in cultural hegemony. Gramsci does not understand the state in the narrow sense of the government and instead sees the ruling class maintaining its dominance over society in two different ways. Coercion. This uses the political society, army, the police, legal systems of the capitalist state to force other classes to accept its rule. Consent. This uses the civil society, family, education systems, trade unions, ideas and values to persuade the subordinate class that its rule is legitimate. The civil society are commonly seen as the private or non-state sphere who mediate between the state and the economy. Hegemony and the mass media. Gramsci emphasized struggle. He noted that the common sense is not something rigid and immobile, but it's continually transforming itself. As Fiske puts it, consent must be constantly won and rewon, for people's material social experience constantly reminds them of the disadvantages of subordination and thus poses a threat to the dominant class. In other words, hegemonic values and the social experience of the subordinate class means there is an inevitable site of ideological struggle where people may reject hegemonic values based on their own experience of poverty, oppression, etc. It is argued that the mass media act as ideological site of struggle rely heavily on consent to maintain their rule. Gramsci recognized that power needs constant negotiation and believes that as long as the dominant class are able to control influential institutions such as popular media, magazines, films, news, etc., the friction is eased.